October 1838, the third quarterly conference of the Church, in Caldwell County, was held at Far West, President Brigham Young presiding, as there was not a sufficient number of members present to form a quorum for business after singing and prayer, conference adjourned until 2 p.m., when they met and opened as usual, Presidents Marsh and Young presiding. There was not a sufficient number of the members of the High Council or any other quorum to do business as a quarterly conference. They voted to obtain a few elders, appointed a few missions, and adjourned till tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. The quarterly conference convened at Far West this day, October 6th, at 10 o'clock, according to adjournment, Presidents Marsh and Young presiding. Elder Benjamin L. Clapp said he had just returned from Kentucky, where he had been laboring, and that many doors were open there. A call was made for volunteers to go to the vineyard and preach, when Elders James Carroll, James Gallagher, Lumen A. Shirtliff, James Dana, Ahaz Cook, Isaac Decker, Cornelius P. Lott, and Alpheus Gifford offered themselves. President Marsh instructed them not to go forth boasting of their faith, or of the judgments of the Lord, but to go in the spirit of meekness and preach repentance. Elder John Taylor from Canada, by request, gave a statement of his feelings respecting his having been appointed as one of the twelve, saying that he was willing to do anything that God would require of him, whereupon it was voted that Brother John Taylor fill one of the vacancies in the Quorum of the Twelve. Stephen Chase was ordained president of the Elders' Quorum in Far West. Isaac Laney, Horace Alexander, and Albert Sloan were ordained elders under the hands of the presidents. Samuel Bent and Isaac Hidby were appointed to fill the places of John Murdoch and George M. Hinkle in the High Council, the two last-named brethren having removed to DeWitt. Conference adjourned to the first Friday and Saturday in January next at 10 a.m. Ebenezer Robinson, Clerk.